Uh, so family OG came by. You remember? You know, he's like that guy comes by in chat here. And he said he bought Silent Hill three for sixty dollars, and I don't know if you've been seeing what's going on with the Silent Hill games, but all the Silent Hill games are like hundred dollars plus now for some reason. They just they just like somehow greatly inflated. And I felt like, dude, that's a bad buy, because that game's not even rare, right? It's not hard to find. And he says, dude, it's rare. I'm like, dude, it's not rare. Now, Silent Hill 3 in particular is kind of uh, probably the hardest to find out of all of them. For one, it's, it, I think, only a PS2 game. I don't think it had a greatest hits release, so it's probably got like a million plus uh, cells or something, or just under a million cells. You know, but there was enough cells in Silent Hill 3 for them to justify Silent Hill 4. That's for sure, though. There is no actual population release of how much Silent Hill 3 uh, American versions were created. But it, it, I thought that was, like, a, you know, a real bad buy, and I kind of grilled them on it. That it, Like, you know, like, why, why didn't you buy this last year when it was $5 if you wanted it? And... and it, and now that I, when I'm thinking about it, if he really wants his money back on that, he should sell it immediately. Because even like uh, sixty dollars is about half the price of what they're trying to sell it for on eBay, right? And if you go on eBay and you look at Sign All Three, you can see there's about three pages of um, people trying to sell it. Now, m mind you, a lot of these are PAL versions. I don't know anything about that, but it's probably um, PlayStation's are region locked, so. Um, you know, it'll only work on a European um, thing, and I don't know if those things had 60 hertz by that time. I think it was still. I have no idea actually, but it looks like the game's not hard to find, and um, but maybe harder to find than some games. But I compared it to another game that I find that it's also quite difficult to find in the wild, and that's Devil May Cry One. I don't know if you've ever played Devil May Cry One. Um, but it's a uh, it's, it's a great game. It's a classic. I, I think it's a bit. I would personally say a bigger classic than Silent Hill Three. You know, actually, you know, personally, Silent Hill Three is not my favorite of the of the four. To be honest, um, I do like four more than it. <laughs> so the parts of the three, you know, I can criticize. You know, <laughs> but but then again, it's also kind of become like the sacred a sacred cow in a video game since. Um, you know, all of them, really. Um, I don't know about the room. I remember some of the fans really didn't like the room at the time, or on the internet time, <laughs> not at that time. I'm, but like, you know, but Silent Hill One, Silent Hill Two, indefinitely, Silent Hill Two Greatest Hits, and the Xbox version in particular, and um, Silent Hill Three are, de are definitely considered uh, classics. But I feel that. They are also some of the most popular uh, survival horror games or psychological horror games of all time. Um, Silent Hill 1 had a greatest hits release, a green box, right, for PlayStation 1. It had a greatest hits release. I think that means it sold over a million, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. Now, Silent Hill 2 had multiple releases. Not only was it a massive hit on launch, it was a, because um, not on launch, it, it came out near the launch of the uh, PlayStation 2. I remember it was one of those early hits like Final Fantasy X and Metal Gear Solid 2 that were just like absolutely stellar. Like the, the PS2 just seemed like goddamn, like you had to get it. Like it was, you know, you remember those times? Yeah, and I remember, yeah, the Resident Evil remake, I, I remember came in, coming around after you know, Silent Hill 2 and stuff. Though. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but anyway, these were, these were very popular games. So I know they sold very, very well. And we're talking about PlayStation 2 games, something easy to emulate these days, something that emulation... It's arguably better, you know. I, some, I've seen people, you know, they emulate PS2 games, and it's just like, look, it's in widescreen, it's now 1080p, 60 frames a second. It was, like, easy, you know, and, and uh, I, I was very impressed by what I saw, but we does not mean people shouldn't be buying physical copies, right, as we can get into that, but 
You know, um, I noticed that survival horror games have been going up in price recently, um, artificially. Like, you'll just, like, wake up one morning, and this is really what happened. Um, this has died down since, but I went to, um, you know, the store, and I saw that a game, like, Parasite Eve 2 was... Parasite Eve 2, you know, is not a, that hard to find PS1 game, but it was selling for $200. $200? Dude, that's even more than Symphony of the Night. That was even more than uh, Street Fighter EX plus Alpha 2, you know, a game I've been really thinking I should buy at 100 bucks now because I missed my opportunity to buy it at 60 80 you know what I mean? And it's like a very finite game, you know, but like P Parasite Eve 2, like, now Parasite Eve 2, I'm, I'm willing to believe there's not as many of them as Parasite Eve 1. I, d I don't know how many of those have sold, but Parasite Eve 2, when I saw it at like $200, like, it's starting to like be priced like it's fucking Tron Bond, Adventures at Tron Bond or something, or... You know, something in the likes of Mega Man Legends 2, and I was just like, unbelievable. What, what the fuck is making Parasite Eve 2 expansive? When it, when it is a common game, you know, I got two copies of it here. I got, I got one, you know, it's, the bulk of them are loose, actually, interesting enough. But I was just like, shaking my head, like, no, this game, this game is common. And if people want this game, there's probably enough to go around. Now, another thing about Parasite Eve 2 is, man, the fans don't even like this game. <laughs> you know, but I really like that game. I, I really like it. It's It's got, it's not perfect, you know, but uh, I really like that game. And I think it's got a really cool uh, gameplay to it. But, you know, people can disagree with me. It definitely, it definitely has some troubles. Some camera angles. It's kind of goofy with the combat a little bit sometimes, but uh, and blah 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 blah. But um, the thing is, is like Parasite Eve two. People don't even really like that one compared to the first one, right? So it's like, what what made Parasite Eve two so expensive? There's there's kind of a theme here about these uh, the fans maybe of the uh, um, these horror games, these survival slash uh, survival horror games. Like, there's something about the fans here that are kind of um, goofing up the price. Now, you know, when you compare it to the people that are trying to buy the fighting games for PlayStation and stuff like that, you know, and how those prices kind of steadily go up as they, you know, people buy them. And they're like, okay, I price them up for them. This is something insane. Like, you, you'll wake up one morning, you'll see Silent Hill 2 is like 100 some bucks, and you'll be like, what the fuck is this? Absolutely not. This is a common game. Like, I, I was here a week ago, and it was $5, and they had like seven copies of it. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, something weird is going on. Now, I tried doing some research here to see if there was some kind of like, um, goofy, um, content creator or something artificially driving up the price or anything like that uh i i, I couldn't find anything really uh i guess recently there was a really shitty hd um launch of the silent hill series there's like silent hill collection hd and it was extremely botched so there was this and then after that um content creators now this is this is about two three years ago content creators were um playing the game, doing playthroughs of the game, right? Doing their uh, spiel about it. So it wasn't really just like a single person, it seems, rather than a lot of people that were just buying this game for streaming or something like that, or because their favorite content creator was playing it, and this version sucks. And it kind of dr also drove up the price truly. But then there's kind of some other goofy shit going on where that's artificially driving it up now mind you this thing is already dying down right because it's ridiculous there's there's a lot of copies of this game and uh, there's enough to go around for people that are willing to buy it um, now family OG he said he got his for 60 bucks if you go on eBay they're like a hundred some bucks but there's also a lot of listings of it to a degree um, I still think that's that was a rip just a, t a straight bad buy and uh man i just thought it was very interesting you know that i'm seeing this pattern now with the um, 
survival horror games um having a particular interest um with a particular buyer base you know the particular crowd here with money um willing to um they're mo the, the thing is is they're more interested in spending money to earn money or to spend money than they are um playing the game and that's there's that's kind of like maybe like a facetious <laughs> to say <laughs> okay but uh why why wasn't this game selling a year or two ago when it was five dollars and in abundance and um you know what i mean like why why didn't you buy it when it was five dollars fifteen dollars twenty dollars you know why wait until it's a hundred and some dollars and try to get it for a deal did like that just screams fomo buy you know and you can say um fuck it i got all the money in the world dude i'm a crypto min millionaire but uh Man, like, it's not good for anybody when you buy a common game for a lot of money. It's 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 bad, you know. Um, and if he really wants his money back on that, I would try selling that immediately for an up for something anywhere like ninety, eighty bucks. But <clears throat> I don't know, dude. It's uh, uh. It, Buying games is strangely competitive right now, and you you definitely don't want to be psychologically tricked into buying something like uh, <laughs> maybe even Tetris here. You know, I I for a hundred bucks. You know. But um, yeah, maybe I'm nuts. You know, it is um to me uh, at the time felt worth it. Because I wanted to spend some money myself. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of spooky. You gotta watch out out there, I suppose. But definitely something that that's not common, common and stuff. You know, you gotta, you gotta really assess like what. It, it you know, <laughs> that's the thing that's frustrating. You know, I was just like, why Parasite Eve two? Like, the fans didn't even like this game. I, you know, it was popular. You know, it's it's not hard to find Parasite Eve 2 at all. You know, I was dumbfounded by that. But now where I'm looking at Silent Hill 3, and now I'm just like, okay, something's going on here. You know, like, is, is this some sneaky bullshit? Because, um, you know when the Mario 64 um, thing went for a million some bucks? It was like a million point something bucks. And like, it was really just like you know business partners not actually exchanging money but like uh, staging this online auction that was absolutely ridiculous like I feel like like this is just maybe happening in more sneakier way by sneakier people um, you know what I mean like if you had a hundred copies on hand of Silent Hill 3 and you can uh, uh, somehow pay a guy to up the price I don't know you know like I I don't know now I'm making up a conspiracy theory but um, I, I, I don't know I don't know I don't even, it's just you gotta be careful because there's no earthly way of knowing which direction we are going video games just sailing on people are coming in going ham dude I just uh I don't know man <laughs> buy them to play them dude <laughs> buy them when they're cheap like I was saying uh Devil May Cry 1 um is a game that I that personally I've seen like a hundred to one Silent Hill 3's compares the compared to Devil May Cry 1 Devil May Cry 1 has to be a classic right they made a sequel they cared about it enough to make the third game. One of the most common games for the PS2 is uh, Devil May Cry 3, right? So I, if you look up Devil May Cry 1, it's not an expensive game at all. You can probably get it under $10. However, in my own experience collecting video games, it is infinitely more rare 
and uncommon to come across a Devil May Cry one, especially a nice copy. It's 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 I I think particularly I would really like to see um the report on that game because I I haven't seen a Devil May Cry one in so long now. And I've I've only seen one or two in the wild, and I should have picked them up. Now my brother's um, he's got a copy of one holding on to it, and I would really like to play that game again because uh, you know, wow, I I haven't yeah you know I haven't seen something like that in a while, but I sure as hell have seen all three of those PS2 and the Xbox versions of those Silent Hill games more than once. More than twice, more than three times, maybe even once a year do I see Silent Hill 2, you know what I mean? It's, um, absolutely butt-fucking-ridiculous that, uh, that game is, uh, trying to be sold at a hundred-some dollars, and everybody just has a copy on hand as well, being like, oh, you want this super rare game? Now, Silent Hill 3 just might be the rarest out of all of them. It doesn't appear to have a Greatest Hits release, and it doesn't, um, um... It doesn't appear to have an Xbox version or a real re-release of any sort. So that's kind of interesting, I think. So same thing with Silent Hill 1, but um, still, I have seen this around so much, this game. I, uh, I am surprised. And also, Devil May Cry 1 is not a rare game. I'm just saying that, like, I, I kind of compared it, and that's a, and that's not a that's not a good comparison to go off of, you know how many Devil May Cry ones I've seen opposed to Silent Hill threes like, but it I just think it's something really weird like obviously it it has nothing to do with what's a classic right, it has nothing to do with how rare it is, so what makes Silent Hill three expansive, and what makes Devil May Cry one Worthless. That's all I ask. I gotta take a piss. <laughs>